Well, it's in a beautiful location. It's minutes from downtown. It overlooks the river valley, lovely fields, places to hang out at lunch. So the location is really great. Very easy to get here. Lots of students are able to take the bus here. We have at least 10 uh, school special buses that come here. The location for the school is beautiful. Uh, right in the river valley, you, so whenever you're outside, you can always look downtown. I really love the football, football uh, program. It's a great, great thing, easy way to make new friends. If you ever want to make easy friends, always join a sports team. And uh, I really like the size of the school, easy to get around, easy way to like, meet new people, make new friends. Uh, teachers here are very helpful, help you with your work, make it easier to uh, understand what you have to do. Because of the size, our teachers really get to know their students. Our students really get to know their teachers and parents have easy access to their teachers. The dance program at McNally is brand new this year, so it's really exciting. Um, we offer Dance 15, Dance 25, and 35. Um, so all the way up to the 30 level course, anyone can take dance. McNally has a great IB program. IB is challenging and rewarding, yet I still have time to play on the football team and be involved with the students' union. McNally is a place for students looking for a great education, but who still want to enjoy their high school life. At McNally, it's really easy to make friends because the people are really nice here. The teachers are also really nice, so it's easier to get help with your classes and your tests and stuff. Any sports teams you're in, like you'll you'll really feel like a connectivity to everyone. Like you'll really get in there, and even if you're not in sports teams, like you'll make friends within a couple of weeks. I mean, I came here not knowing very many people, and uh, I've, I've got a bunch of friends. Yeah. If you want to play in a team, you have a higher chance. If you you know, it's, it's the old saying, do you want to be a, a little fish in a big pond or a big fish in a little pond? And we certainly consider ourselves uh, just the right size pond. Uh, we're large enough to offer a huge variety of programming, but we're also small enough that if you want to, anything you want to get involved in, you're going you're to be able to get involved in. It's small enough that once you know like one of the friends, you kind of get to know everybody else around. The, the atmosphere of the school itself is just really supportive. They hold doors open for you, so like, you're walking in the hallway and they see you coming to, they'll hold it open for you. McNally School is a perfect size for a high school. Um, we are between 1,000 and 1,200 students. We take huge pride in our computer science program here at McNally. We are the leading computer science program on the entire eastern side of the school. In fact, other, other schools come to McNally to learn about how to teach computer science. We have robotics in, using VEX, we have robotics using Arduino, we're teaching students smartphone apps. We are at the cutting edge and computing science is really important for the society because, I mean, think about how many people own a smartphone. It's all computer based. If you drive to school, you have about 20 computers in your car. If you um, are in the military, if you're in the oil industry, if you are in education, computing science will change the world and that's what we're here to start learning about. Well, our multimedia and design um, program, we use a lot of both 2D and 3D animation tools, uh, such as this one here. We have uh, Autodesk Inventor. This particular student invented a, a coffee mug. They were allowed to use their creativity and came up with a toilet bowl side, uh, style coffee mug. Last year we competed in the uh, Skills Canada competition in the 2D animation uh, topic. and. Um, uh, we had two students, Keegan and Elliot, win the Alberta gold medal for the, uh, for the 2D animation category using flash animation. They then went on to the national championships and got the silver medal. So the second place team in all the countries from McNally. McNally has an annual walk for water where we're trying to raise a social awareness of water and issues surrounding it both locally and abroad. Last year we had 350 people walking in it and this year we hope to have more. So part of the Walk for Water is getting students to experience what it's like to survive without a precious resource. So our students walked for eight kilometers carrying two jugs of water and at the end of it they got a bowl of rice. So tied in with our social focus of water here at McNally School, our students have also been going on field trips down to the River Valley with River Watch where they go for one day testing water quality along the river at different points. Science is about learning how things work taking it apart, putting it back together, and making sure you understand the process. And that's what we're really trying to do at McNally School with the labs and stuff that we perform. We've been doing a variety of work with kids, uh, woodworking to uh, construction. Uh, grade 10 involves uh, using basic tools, 
Uh, grade 11 and 12, we get into building some structures. Uh, we've done all kinds of things. We built uh, storage sheds. We built a bunkhouse for a camp down a Rocky Mountain house. This year, we're working on a playhouse along with a, uh, a structure for the grade 12s to work on, which is a storage shed. The bike behind me is, uh, has been donated. The materials have been donated to the program. I've got a group of about four or five young men that come in during their lunch hours or after school. Uh, we'll fabricate, we'll put the bike together with our own touches. We'll get the process completed and then the bike will become a raffle item or an auction item for a charity. We teach our grade 10s, 11s and 12s uh, basic food studies at the grade 10 level where they learn about nutrition, eating healthy. In our 20 level you can see some of the students working on things like their meat unit, baking, um, nutrition, cakes and pastry. At the 30 level we are much more advanced. We take the advanced food program and we prepare our students for real careers in foods. They'll complete about six modules as well as compete at the high school level, regionals and provincial competitions, both in the culinary arts and the baking. My students have been lucky enough to receive one of the full free ride scholarships to the culinary program at Nate. One every year and uh, actually this year Jesse Thomas will be graduating from Nate through the culinary high school competition. Carlos again was one of our provincial champions last year. The students that have come to McNally School in the past have really found that uh, the small school environment we have here is, is something that they really enjoy. They get to know each other, they get to know the teachers, and the teachers get to know them. We have excellent sports teams at our school. Um, there's 28 different clubs that run at McNally, so there's lots of things for you to do. Come to McNally. You'll have a hair-raising experience. <laughs> <laughs> McNally, it's the right place for you. McNally, the right place for you. McNally is the right place for you. McNally is the right place for you. McNally, the right place for you. McNally, the right place for you. <laughs>